Hello everyone, Danny here from Double Booked Co. It is another Sunday sneak peek. Um, we will always share our new releases the Sunday before the products launch in our Etsy shop. So our Etsy shop, we post new products or new releases um, or restocks every other Monday. So if you're ever interested in, hmm, I wonder when their Etsy shop is going to have some new stuff. It is always every other Monday. And what we like to do is to show you all here on our YouTube page um, those items prior to that launch. Now, if you're watching this in replay, that's perfectly A-OK. -okay. I try to keep this as short as possible so that um, the replay isn't too long. But I've really, um, we've really enjoyed the lives because it gives you a chance if you do pop in um, when we are live that you have the opportunity to ask questions about the new product. So for tomorrow's release, which is for September 13th, so Monday, September 13th, we have three different um, releases, all of which are going to be bookmarks. Um, we are working on a lot of Christmas stuff, and I'm super excited to show you all that. Um, we should be seeing that very soon, and like we said in a different live, um, we're really hoping to have all of our Christmas products out before October 31st. <laughs> so we are working really hard to getting all of those done. So super excited about that. Um, so let's get right on into it. And the first um, new product, new bookmark that I'd like to share with you is probably one that we're most excited about for this launch because it's super fun and just like really getting into the fall season. And I know a lot of you out there absolutely love this kind of thing, but we all know that once fall happens, not only is it sweater weather, but it's also pumpkin spice latte season. So we found this really great paper that we are calling our pumpkin spice latte paper or our PSL paper. Um, and you can see there are a bunch of cups and mugs with some whipped topping on there. Um, the color is picking up a little lighter, but this is a very like orangey yellow um, as the back um, part of the bookmark. There's little tiny hearts on there. And then, like I said, it's full of all of those different amazing um, hot drink cups. And then the back is more of a dark red. Um, with some polka dots. So those are our um, new pumpkin spice latte bookmarks. These are all available um, or will be available tomorrow on our Etsy page, um, which is Monday, um, September 13th. And we drop all of our new products at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, Amy, they are so cute. We're calling this our pumpkin spice latte um, bookmark. And again, all of our bookmarks are um, handmade. They are laminated, double-sided, and you can add a tassel to any of our bookmarks. We have um, varying colors. So typically we just pick one that matches. But when you make your order, if you say, for instance, like, Danny, I'd really like an orange tassel for that or a brown tassel for that, um, you certainly can add that extra note. I look at all of our messages um, and special notes on orders, and I do my best to fulfill those. Um, for instance, I just had an order um, this past Friday, and they said, no pink tassels, please. And I said, absolutely, no pink. So that is our going to be our first um, new product for tomorrow's. Um, drop. Again, we drop around 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Those are pumpkin spice latte bookmarks. <laughs> um, so for our next um, new product, it's actually our second collection of our fall bookmarks. So you may have seen um, 
two drops previous. We did our first fall line, and now this will be our second fall line. And we have, I think, eight different styles of bookmarks in this particular line. So I'm just going to get started on what's closest to me. We have um, leaves in the wind. Um, you'll notice that each bookmark is a little bit different as far as the cut lines go because the way that these leaves were on the paper is they kind of were in a, in a really fantastic swirl. So you won't have the same bookmark twice. So they're very different, very nice, vibrant colors. We have some oranges, yellows, blues, greens. Very, very pretty, and I apologize about that glare. And then the back side is this really luscious green with like um, kind of like foliage here. And it just kind of like um, goes throughout, but very, very pretty. We're calling these like our fall leaves. Um, and those are very, very pretty. So that's the first in that collection. We also have a fall landscape. Now you can see with the cut lines, these are going to be very different. So I'm going to hold up a couple um, separately so you can kind of see the difference here um, of these bookmarks. So like I said, it's like a fall landscape. So you can see here we have some buildings. We have a pumpkin patch, really vivid and bright, uh, vibrant fall trees. All the colors are very vibrant. The backing of this is more of kind of this checked or plaid, almost looks like a tablecloth pattern is what I like to say. But you can see, so this has a pumpkin patch, but this bookmark does not. So we just have more of the landscape. There's a couple of buildings in there. And then again, here we have more of a pumpkin patch, some buildings, and this one as well. This one also has, if you're really looking, this one, this looks like a church. So if you're to make a comment like I would really like the one with the church and you can see it has like a wheat field in the background too. So we have a couple of different ones that are from the cut lines. So you can see this one has like a little road um, and a house, maybe some water. Um, so they're all very, very different. This one you can see it's like in a neighborhood. So it's like a fall landscape countryside. So that is our second in that collection. Um, again, all the cut lines vary. So if you have a specific, like, oh, I really want one that looks like this, or I want one with a pumpkin field, gotta let me know. And then the backside is like this red. I would say it's like a really deep red on the back. So that's our second in that fall collection. The third in the fall collection are some fall trees. And again, the cut lines will vary. So you may have more green or more red, more orange, but these are all different styles of trees. And then the backside is fall colors, um, kind of stripes on there. And again, you can add a tassel to any of our bookmarks. We just match that up. You may have noticed a similar bookmark um, like this in our last fall line, and it's these fall pear and um, birds. And the other one had like circles on the back. This one has a quilted pattern. So something a little bit different. Um, and not everyone will have a bird. As you can see, like this one doesn't have any birds. Um, oh, there might be a little tiny one up here. Oh, that's a bug. And some might not have a pair. So it really varies on the cut lines. And then the backside again is like this quilted pattern. So that is our fourth in the fall collection. We have four more styles in that same collection. Um, we have our like fall, more woodland creatures. Um, we had some woodland creatures last time, but this one you might actually get the word fall. Sometimes it gets cut off a little bit, but you got some pies, some pumpkins, some acorns, some woodland creatures. So it all varies based on the cut lines. So you can see a little bit different on each one some mushrooms even. And then the back side is this red checked. So that is our fifth style in our fall line. And we only have, it looks like six of those ones. So only a few in that style. Now these next ones are probably my favorite in this collection, though I love all of them. Um, but I just, this is so unique for me. I just really like these. I think it's super cute. Um, but we have fall gourds. 
So we have a bunch of gourds and they'll actually say their name if you can read that small, but um, like we have um, all the different kind of gourds here. So you can kind of see they're just kind of listed in there. Um, and the paper is a little bit textured, so you can see that um, under the lamination. And then the backside is this almost really light teal with um, very faint um, orange and cream colored polka dots. But again, the cut lines will all be different for these. So sometimes you have bigger gourds. So we have bigger gourds versus, you know, our uh, smaller gourds. I gotta figure out which way my hands are going. Oh, so it's this hand. So you can see there's small gourds and then bigger gourds. It just all depends on your cut line. And then again, that backside is like a very faint teal with some orange. These look brown on camera, but they're actually orange and then cream colored polka dots. So that is our, what's that? Three sixth uh, version of our fall. Now, if you're looking for something for fall, but you're not really into fall colors, those oranges, reds, you know, those really vibrant fall colors, looking for more of a non-traditional fall bookmark, we do have some blues. So we have these acorns here, which are very, very pretty, um, and they have this blue tint um, and some greens um, here with the browns of the acorns, but those are very, very pretty, very subtle. And I feel like you could use these all year round. And quite frankly, I use whatever bookmarks all year round. I don't care if they're Christmas or what. And then the backside is this very pretty blue plaid. So for a non-traditional fall, you have these really pretty acorn um, bookmarks with the blue plaid. And again, it looks like we only have six of these particular bookmarks. And then the last um, selection for that collection of fall is our eighth selection. And this, again, is a non-traditional um, colors for fall. So that if, like I said, if you're not interested in that red, orange, those bright yellows, um, we do have some gourds. So these are like pumpkins, but they're more of a bluish gray tint, I would say. And the backing is like a very faint... I would say it almost gives off like a bluish white or a grayish white feel. So these are like very, very faint in coloring on the back. And then the back side is this, I would say like sage, um, faint sage color with the twigs of leaves and, and whatnot. So if you're looking for something that isn't quite that bright fall, we do have these. And we do have quite a few of these. It looks like we have 12 of this. So of the fall collection, we do have those eight um, separate um, choices, all of which are double-sided, laminated, handmade bookmarks, and all can add a tassel. So all of our bookmarks are $3.00. Should you add a tassel, it's an extra dollar. So it's $3 for a non-tasseled bookmark and $4 for a tasseled bookmark. And if you have any special requests, you just select a note and or write a note to us and we go ahead and do that. Thanks, Amy. Yeah, I really love the colors too. I mean, I love traditional fall colors, but I like when stuff is a little non-traditional too um, because I feel like it lasts a little bit longer out of the season. Um, that's just me, but I, I like that. And they're just so classy. Like, I just feel like they're really classy. Um, yeah, really pretty. I like them. It's always fun when we are hunting for paper um, and we find stuff that we really like because they're, it's just so unique and it just, I think, shows off our personalities a little bit. <laughs> um, so we really do have fun with that. So thank you. I, I, I'm glad that you like that. So for our last new product that will be posted tomorrow in our Etsy shop, so like I said, the first listing will be the pumpkin spice latte um, bookmarks. And then the second listing will be the second in our fall collection. So those last eight bookmarks that you just saw, um, that'll be its own listing. So you'll pick um, similarly to some of our other um, listings where it'll be like number one gourds, number two fall woodland, you know, um, so you'll pick from there. But our third listing, our third new product, um, they are bookmarks, but 
Um, many of you haven't seen these before. For those of you who have ordered from us in the past, you um, were gifted a few of these um, little guys and they are our minis. So we have been creating these little mini bookmarks. So you can kind of see some of our past collections. So we have some kind of the zoo animals. We have some of our country floral. You can see we even have some of those pumpkin spice lattes in there. Um, we have some of our maps and then even some of our um, bookshelves are in our new fall minis. So we have been gifting those out to our wonderful patrons out there. Um, you have been so kind as being some of our first customers that we um, gifted a lot of minis out to you because we just really wanted to thank you um, for your orders and just thank you for supporting us. And we're just so happy um, that you are here. And so now we're going to offer these up for everyone. And you will see a separate listing that you can order these minis. And we're actually going to sell them six minis for $5. So you will get um, to uh, select that option and then you will get a mystery bundle basically. Um, I think we're going to call them like grab and go minis. Um, so we'll just randomly select six of our minis. And these are always um, two inches by approximately, I would say like four to five inches. It really depends on um, how we cut them. But you can see they're, I mean, they're fairly the same. They're just off by a little bit. Um, but yeah, so you'll get an assortment of six minis. Um, these are really great for mass market books. So if you have one of your, you know, mass markets and even a bigger book. So you can see here, like this is a mass market size book. Here is the mini. So it's perfect for inside of your book. And there is your bookmark. Um, so we are going to have a listing and then you'll just select how many bundles you would want. Um, and we're doing six for $5. And then we'll just randomly select the minis that we have available. They'll all be different. So, you know, you don't have to worry about like, oh, I got five of the same thing. You'll get all, all different kinds from all of our different collections, um, you know, and then we'll get those sent out to you. And they're all double-sided. They're all laminated. And um, yeah, so we hope that that is something fun that you'll enjoy. Um, I think the little bookmarks are kind of cute because, you know, sometimes when I have a book, the bookmark's too big and that kind of is bothersome to me. Um, and that's where sometimes I will use like a business card for a bookmark or a piece of paper. So these are really nice because they are, you know, smaller and um, they can fit right into your mass market book. And then you're ready to go. So I think we're going to call them grab and go minis. And then, like I said, they will be six minis for five dollars and they'll be just sorted. So it'll just be randomized um, in there. Um, for what we have. And believe me, don't worry, we have plenty of minis made. So, I mean, <laughs> we will have you, um, we will have plenty of minis for you to order. So feel free to order them. And Amy, yes, great. The minis are perfect for gifts. Um, they are super nice. And the fact that they're still double-sided, they're the same as our regular bookmarks. They're just smaller. So they're just smaller. That's all. So they're super fun um, and a great way to, you know, maybe gift some. Maybe you have a book club and you'd like to give um, bookmarks to everyone, but you, you're not, you don't want to spend the full, um, for the full bookmark. You can get six for five dollars. I mean, that's super, super fun. So Anywho, that is all I have for you today. Um, our next launch will be, um, it looks like, so tomorrow, which is the 13th, we'll drop these three new products at 10 a.m. And then our next launch will be on the 27th, um, which I don't know if we'll do Christmas on the 27th. We might, it might be the next one. But stay tuned because we could be actually launching some Christmas stuff um, in our next live stream. So 
Um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're watching in, this in replay, please feel free to comment below with any questions that you may have. Otherwise, I look forward to packaging up your bookish gifts um, in the near future. And please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, or special requests. Um, a great story that I have, I actually had someone email me uh, last week and ask if it was too late to order for her um, daughter's birthday. And I stopped everything I was doing. And I said, if you can get the order in tonight before I, you know, before I um, wake up in the morning, if I have it, I'll do it the same day. That's how much we care about you all. We want you to be able to have your bookish gifts. Now, I can't promise that that will work every time, but thankfully we had a good week and I got to it right away. And I really hope that she gets her stuff in time because her um, daughter's birthday is this coming weekend. So I'm really excited to hear from her and make sure that she received her stuff. But just message me if you have a question. We respond very quickly um, to all of our messages through Etsy. So please feel free to reach out. But yeah, until next time, thank you all so much. We really have been so blessed by this community and all of the people who have been supporting us. So, you know, a really big thank you to all of you. And like I said, I really can't wait for you to see some of our Christmas stuff. We're really excited. Um, and we're just really excited to keep up with all of you guys. So until next time, I hope you're all having a great night and you're reading something great. Take care. Bye.